Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. A couple of days ago, I made a video on this, and now somebody is saying that they do not have the inner drop shadow tool. So if we go to the shadow tool, I don't have it either. I've taken it away. So my first suggestion would be to close Corel down. She has 19. Uh, I can't remember when the drop shadow inner started. It might have started after 19, and that could be your problem. Uh, I've only got it on an old computer like 6 and 7, or X6 and X7, and they didn't have it. So I don't know when it started, so I apologize for that. But while you're in this menu, there's two things we could do. Hit the plus key right here, and I turn, if you would inadvertently turn it off. So there's my inner drop shadow, so I can make a drop shadow and be clicked on either outside or inside. Now, the other thing I would do, and probably do it first, is close down Corel, shut it down completely. Hold down the F8 key while you're restarting it, and everything will go back to default. Now, to find out if your 19 has it, one, that would be a clue right there, but two, we can go to tools, options, customization, go to commands and type in right here, enter, enter shadow, enter shadow width. So this is what you'd want. If you do not have this, then it wasn't available in 19. There's probably a couple ways, you know, you could do that. Uh, I don't know if it's really worth the hassle, but if you wanted to reduplicate this exact same thing, uh, let me just back up here and take the shadow away from that. I am going to take one, now this is just a suggestion. First of all, I'm going to uh, make a duplicate of it, move it over. And I'm going to take away the outline on this one. Now I am going to take a rectangle about where I want the shadow, you know, no more or no less. And I am going to, let's make it a little bit bigger so the shadow won't be so big. So if we hold down the, normally hold down the shift key, but I don't want it to be do that. I want it on these corners. And then take the smart fill. We might have to put a rectangle around this, and I think we will. No, nope, it worked. I would smart fill it. Let me back up. I would smart fill it with a gray. Okay. So now you have just that gray. Let's move the yellow out of the, out of the way and see we've got that. And then take this. And this would only be in the extreme. Uh, go to effects, blur, Gaussian blur. and blur that gray part. Now this is just an extreme, but it would, you know, if you don't have it and you want to do something like that, and then select it all, put an outline around it, and make it whatever thickness that was. Wow. Ha! It put an outline around the shadow. So we need to... Uh, the cure for that would be to move that down. Let's totally back up where that wasn't there. And then move, let me get rid of that. Move this over or down. Put a outline around it. Make it that quarter inch. Maybe it's a little bit thicker. Let's go 0.33. And then move it back up. And you kind of get the same effect. You know, I started off with a lighter color. And because this is kind of broken apart, you could move it into the red. And then go. Uh, so what we could do is take this red now and go to object, convert the outline to an object and go up to object order front of page. And now the shadow isn't there on that part. 
Now, it's pretty close. I could have started out with a, a darker black, uh, but that's only an extreme. Hopefully, it's in 19 and you can put it back. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.